In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create an HTML5 app from Geometry Expressions 3 which has some animation in it. Uh, the app I'm going to create is the animation of a crank slider mechanism. Uh, so if we have AB as the crank and we're going to specify its length, make that C, and BC is a connector and C is going to slide along um, the x-axis. So we'll make BC length B and we'll specify the angle between AB and the x-axis. Make that theta. So now if I choose theta in my variables panel um, I can animate uh, theta and watch the mechanisms uh, operate. Uh, I'd like to have continuous animation, not just to stop after one go, so I do that by changing the animation mode. Um, there's back, uh, it's going round in a circle, but backwards and forwards, I want the keeping going in the same direction. Uh, so now if I do an animation inside Geometry Expressions, um, I see that the animation just keeps on going. Okay. Uh, and uh, my HTML5 app will mimic the behaviour um, of geometry expressions. I don't want to see uh, the axes in my app. Let me just pull that over here. So I'm ready to to generate it. Uh, I go export HTML5 JavaScript app. Now I get to fill in various uh, aspects of the app. There's the directory I want to st stick it in. Here is the name. This is the name of the HTML5 file. Um, auto scale. I don't want it to auto scale. I'd like to turn that off. I want to specify the region of the screen that's going to be captured. Uh, width and height 350 by 350. Web page title crank slider. Uh, here's some text I can put um, before uh, the app, this is an animation of a crank slider mechanism. Um, some text after the app. Uh, this is a common method of translating uh, rotary to reciprocating motion. Okay. B and C, let's be a bit more explanatory. We'll, B is the length BC. So we'll get a label. We'll have a text box that will let the user enter in a value for that. C is the length AB. And theta uh, is the uh, crank angle. Uh, or actually, we could call it angle BAC. But instead of uh, having a text box for theta, I'm going to select a slider. The reason for that is the slider allows me, as a user of the HTML file, to animate it. Okay. So now I get to draw the triangle or region that I would like to see. Well, let's make it look like that. So that's me. And if I go to my uh, file here it is animation.html. Um, there's my animation of the crank slider mechanism. If I press OK, uh, we get to see that go. Uh, we can change the values uh, and things. Let's make AB uh, 5 and BC 7. BC 10 and change it even uh, as it's moving. Okay, so that's how to create uh, an animation in a uh, HTML5 app 
from geometry expressions 3.